grand opening, grand closing. Border Rock 77, your only friend in these YouTube streets. Um, we're gonna need the Bible here. We're gonna let's hold on to the gaming Bible. Let's just hold on to this tight because. Let me show you something. Is that right there? The top is my response addressing this whole nonsense about Xbox 2026 being successful or being the right move. And people thinking that Microsoft launching an Xbox 2026 would initiate the same success as a xbox 360 because they think launching a next generation console before playstation is the key to xbox success now my reply as you can see here was no it wouldn't i don't think you realize how weak the xbox brand really is from a mindshare perspective the only people who would care are guys like you. And I'm talking to an Xbox dude. The same niche group who keeps buying Xbox. The majority wouldn't care. So enter JD Gamer, as you see here. He replies, the problem with what you're saying is that it goes against all logic, even your own. By that, I mean Xbox now has the ability to produce more quality exclusives than ever before, even more than the Xbox 360 era, and now all of a sudden they'll do worse. That makes no sense. Here's the thing about, out of all the people to respond, out of all the people to respond to this, AD Gamer. Now all of a sudden, it's about Xbox 2026. Now the strategy in 2023, mind you, it's all about setting the stage for Xbox to be successful by starting next generation in 2026. When you guys, Xbox dudes, have been hyping that this gen was the gen that Xbox will be successful. This gen. It was gonna happen this gen. Don't believe me? That same dude, JD Gamer, look what he wrote. This was a $100 super chat on his Iron Lords podcast. Applying to the panel. He said, I see knees in the air, knees in the air. Great entertainment, gotta respect the truth that is sovereign and king are Nostradamus. Meaning they predicting something. Prediction, Sony will become a niche console maker. Not the first choice, not the second. They will become an afterthought locked in a closet. PlayStation will be the niche console. Not even the second, can you under, this was early 2021 when he wrote that. When all that bullshit that they believed in. Let me, let me put it this way. 2020 was a crazy year of insanity, stupidity, silliness, just ridiculousness. They hyped 2020 prediction with the following. That number one, Xbox has the power advantage with the Series X. Number two, Xbox has the low affordable entry into next generation gaming with the Series S. And number three, Xbox has the value proposition with Game Pass. With those three areas covered, they felt if you want the power, Xbox. If you couldn't afford power and you just want a nice low costing way to play next generation games, Xbox. And if the $70 price, price hike of games was too much for you, but you still want to play a lot of games, Xbox. In their mind, Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. Done. 
They got it. And that nonsense was there. And oh, it wasn't there because I made fun of them. Once PlayStation started rolling and we clearly saw that, um, yeah, it's not going your way. Oh, no, 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 no. He doubled down, especially when Microsoft got the Action Vision deal. My man doubled down with this. Hold on, I clip this. Stop pocket watching me, bro, because I'm going to do this again and again and again. Keep up or shut up. With that said, have a wonderful Lord's Day. And never forget that we over here on the Xbox side have held the line. Now let the rewards pour in. Let it pour in, meaning this gen. You get the rewards this gen. This gen. Over the next five years, you're supposed to get your shit this gen. Where does Xbox 2026 play come from? So, the Xbox community, if you hype Xbox 2026, I'm going to tell you right now, if you hype Xbox 2026, then you admit your console's a failure right now. Because how can you hype next generation when you're still stuck with this console for three more years and the console you have right now Barely did a damn thing. It didn't do nothing. If Xbox shut down right now, what can you say delivered? Nothing. But embarrassment. Embarrassment. Everything got downgraded across the board. Everything. You downgraded everything. Xbox downgraded everything. Everything it touched, downgrade. You downgraded Halo. You even downgraded Forza. GT7 smoked Forza more, and I never seen that. I never seen Forza ever. And I don't play racing games. I, I admit, I don't play none of that shit. But I can witness people enjoying the games, being hype about it. This is the first generation where nobody gave a shit about Forza Motorsport. Out of all the Xbox content, not even on the Xbox One was it this bad. Hell, people loved it. People mentioned it. People still crowned it king during the Xbox One. Forza was still considered king over GT. Now, you guys don't even argue. Because y'all don't even play this shit. Downgrade. Halo downgrade. Forza downgrade. You even downgraded Bethesda. Everything. Downgrade. Everything. Everything you touch. Downgrade. Everything. Everything. The series consoles did nothing this generation. The only reason Xbox still in the conversation is two things. Number one, it's a great topic to trigger the fan base. Because it is funny seeing you guys just doing gymnastics, mental gymnastics over this brand. A simple article over Kazin Game Pass gets y'all wild up. So it's fun to just... Get your, you know, we slap that battery on your back and you guys going like the Energizer. So it's so easy to get you guys riled up. That's number one. Then number two, it's just simply you just play a lot of games because y'all don't really want to buy because y'all are a community that really didn't really buy games. So Game Pass is more like a necessity for you guys. Crazy. That's really it. Shit talking and Game Pass. That's why Xbox brought this here. Because boy... Bill Spencer provided so much shit talking material. He set y'all up for the okie doke. Got y'all hyped up on the power. That shit failed. Got y'all hyped up on the low cost. Can I get a lock cart, please? Boy, that shit failed, bro. Y'all really thought PlayStation games was going to jump on Xbox because it was $300. Oh, my God. That must be so embarrassing. Right now, you got that shit being liquidated. They're selling an Xbox for 150 bucks right now. Microsoft liquidating that sucker. Xbox Series S for 150 bucks. That shit is cheaper than the Switch Lite. The damn PlayStation Portal costs more than an Xbox Series S. And that motherfucker doesn't even work by itself. That's just $200. And he can't be used unless you have a PS5 and the internet connection. 
Man, you got the Series X being sold for 350 the same price as a Switch OLED, bro. Bro, that shit's liquidated. And that shit's still having trouble selling. Because dumb shits is not sold out. I could walk to a store right now, get a Series S and an X at the same damn time. Because that shit ain't sold out. Despite how low the prices are. It's the lowest it's ever been. Hell, the Series S is 150 with a gaming headset. Bro. So now it's 2026. This is why you guys are the joke of this community. It's always a new plan that never gets executed to the full. You never commit to a plan and make it successful. First is the connect, that shit fails. Then it was the power of the cloud, more powerful than four titans, that shit fell. Then it was the Xbox One X, that shit fell. Then it's the Series X with the power, Series S with the price, and Game Pass with the value. That shit failed. Now it's Xbox 2026. That's the new plan. That's what we're gonna hear for the next three goddamn years. Simply because you guys are salty that Xbox, Microsoft, really, is not giving y'all a mid-gen refresh because y'all don't buy shit. No one's buying a console, so why the hell would they invest in a whole new mid-gen refresh? I'm telling you, you ain't seeing no goddamn Xbox in 2026. You think Phil's going to dedicate the resource to a damn console people ain't buying just so you guys could brag about it? Boy, if you don't shut your mouth on that one, if you don't stop your bullshit, right? The only thing this proved, the only thing this proved, and look at me, look at me, come here, come here, come here, look at me, look at me, look at me. You admitted your console failed. Because who the hell it would even think to talk about next gen when your console is only three years old and produced bullshit? You didn't even get Hellblade yet. And you're already hyping a new console. Bro, you admitted your shit failed. Everything fell. It was a stupid plan. It was stupid. Launching a console with no games. Launching a two-school method. This goes to show for the hundredth time. Microsoft has to fix its publishing. Because they suck. They don't know the type of games necessary to make people say... I got to get an Xbox. No one gives a shit about what y'all say on Twitter. No one's believing you because clearly you can see from the MPD data, from, you know, the UK data cells, from the European cells, obviously Japan cells. No one's actually listening to y'all in the real world. All y'all fanboy bullshit in the Xbox community, no one's paying attention to your ass. The shit's not happening in real life. What y'all say online is not happening in real life. Gotta fix your publishing and you gotta get Mindshot on the Xbox. But to be honest, in my opinion, it's too late. That shit's been out for four generations. That shit is done. And I don't think even Microsoft even cares to try to keep fighting. Phil already said, can't out console Sony and Nintendo. So I think they moved on from that strategy a long time ago. Right? I'm gonna tell you this now. January, February, March, whenever that time frame, if Microsoft doesn't come out bragging, bragging, bragging about huge spike in Game Pass subscriber rates, huge. If they stay silent and don't mention, oh, we got, I got 38 million, minimum 38 million. Last number they gave was 30. They should be at 38 million minimum. They should be bragging about 38 million. Okay. If Sony could sell like 50 million consoles, you can get 8 million subscribers across PC, xCloud, and console. That shouldn't be that hard. If Xbox or that. If they don't brag about that number, I'm telling you, 2024, shit's going down. Xbox gamers, prepare for the quantum break moment. If you don't know what I'm talking about, do a little research. Go into the archives on Twitter. Search 
um, do a little search of when Quantum Break got announced for PC and see the backlash Xbox Gamer said. See the little tit for tat Crap Gamer did with Phil Spencer over that. Y'all about to go through that shit soon. Microsoft don't be out there boasting. Game Pass subscribers? Same Matei, bro. You ever seen Bloodsport? You know what I'm saying? With Frank Dukes, you know what I'm saying? When John claude Van Damme playing as Frank Dukes and Bolo Young playing as Chung Lee, he had him and he's like, say it, say it. And the guy's like, Matei. That's Xbox. Y'all about to say Matei. Y'all about to. Done. Done. Y'all about to get that quantum break moment. Because this shit is bad. You got gamers already with a console that's only three years old and you already want to move on to next gen. You know your shit sucks. You know your shit is trash. Bro, I will be pissed if Sony said 2026 or PS5 is coming. Pros, whatever. It's a mid gen refresh. Still PS5. Stays within the PS5 hierarchy. Whatever. You get it, you don't. PS4 Pro came out, I stood with my PS4. I was fine. I might get the PS5 Pro, depending how it is. Either way, it's a PS5. But if Sony would have said that there's a rumor in 2026, we're getting a PlayStation 6? What? You out your damn mind, son. Yo. Listen. You gave up. You waved the white flag. Sorry. Don't know what to tell you. 2026 ain't gonna save y'all. There's no saving that brand. There's no saving that brand. Y'all are third. Forever. Ever. Ever. Your only friend is you two streets, Porter Rock 77. If you a PlayStation dude, hit up the comment section and laugh at these dudes. If you're an Xbox dude, you have my permission to cry. Peace. Grand opening. Grand closing.